Hey guys, welcome back to another So What Pro um, tutorial, I guess you could say. Um, I've had some more questions about the So What Pro, so I'm going to go over a couple things. Um, first thing I wanted to share with you is something that I recently had to do. Um, I had a customer want a Care Bearers. Um, shirt and the I have a Care Bears design but when I purchased the design it's with a number one and this customer wanted a number two so when I went back to where I bought the design from originally there they no longer have it so um, so I figured I would just show you guys what I did really quick so uh, let's see here. I already made this design, but I'm going to remake it for y'all. So they wanted a number two. And they wanted it um, with a Care Bears. And the only Care Bear I have is with a number one already. So I'm just going to show you guys really quick. So I got my... Um, number two and I just adjust my hoop size to my what is it uh, 13 by 8 because that's what I always go with for my machine um, if you have the PE 800 or the PE 770 you can go in and select what hoop size works best for you but for my machine this is just what I use um, but they have all different kinds of hoop sizes. They just don't have the hoop size that I need. So anyway, so I got my number two and I will go in and I will shrink it. I usually start off at like 80% and then if I need it bigger, I'll go bigger. Um, and then I need to go file and merge and it was the number one Care Bear. So this is the one I had to use. So I went and merged it with this one. So as you can see, it's the number one in the Care Bear. So I only want the Care Bear. I don't care about this number one. So I have to go in and delete all of the files for this number one. So it's this one right here. So I just go in, click on it, and you can delete thread, and it deletes it. This one right here, oh, first we'll go with this one here, delete thread, and then this one here, delete thread. So, oh, there's one more. So all of the number is gone, and I am just left with my Care Bear, and I can use him or her, whatever Care Bear this is, with any number I put with it. Um, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and just delete this number two and keep the Care Bear and just save that as a separate file. That way next time if somebody orders like a number three or number four, I can just um, merge it with the Care Bear and I don't have to go through the process of deleting those stitches. But now I want to make him a little bit bigger. Um, you can go here and do it or you can go into tools in here. Um, either way here or through there I'm just gonna go let's go 125 that might be a little too big let's go 120 so there he is I could make him bigger kind of stretch him out I usually like to use this that way the proportions kind of keep the same and I don't have to worry about the design looking a little funny um, and then, of course, once you get him where you want him, you can do like that. You can go in and um, split your pattern and delete any threads that is over. Uh, again, if you like mess up and you delete too much, you can just go to close and you say no and it leaves it there so hmm. 
and you can choose a smaller um, eraser if it's like you know smaller also let's see you can zoom in a little bit and then go that way you can kind of see exactly what you're erasing um, if you wanted to you can just go ahead and erase all this and move him over afterwards to make sure you cover everything up I say him I don't know if it's a him or her <laughs> Now, just scoot him over there. Now it's all covered up. And then, if you want, you can add your name. Um, so I have the letters. I have everything. It usually saves it for a while after. This is from yesterday when I did a video and I showed you how to add the name. Um, sometimes this can get like overcrowded and you get too much. You can go up here. And like, let's say I'm going to delete the dragons. So the little dragons are gone. And I'll say I'm going to delete the number two. So the twos are gone. But then you can just go in and add the name. And the little girl I'm making this for, her name is actually Journey. Oh, 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 oh. So if you can do that, whatever. And you forget a letter, you can just delete. The journey I'm making it for has two E's. So. There's that. Um, and I showed you in the previous video on how to adjust the spacing. What do you want to do? And then. So, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, if ever. Let's say you bought a number applique design and you wanted to make it with a different number. That's the way you can do it. Um, again, it usually depends on how the file is set up because sometimes you'll have to go in and um, like they might have all of the outline, like the number tack down and the bear all like first. And then it might come in with the outline of the number. So it just depends on how this the um, design is set up. Um, also, let's, let's do a new one. I'll show you something else I have done with the Sewup Pro. Um, let me see if I can find something. This one have uh, trying to see. I'm trying to find a design that has words in it that would work. Okay, let's just do this one. This is all four by fours, so this will be good. Okay, so you have your four by four design, and let's just say you want to make it bigger and you want to space it out. Um, since this design is already pre-existing and it's that big, you can just, first thing you would do is probably try to make it bigger. Um, the one I actually did it with is a uh, Thanksgiving design. Let's go. Okay, so that made it bigger. Now let's say I want Born to be up higher. Um, you can just click on it. Actually, it's going to some stars. Let's, first, let's move the stars. So you can click on whatever one you want. And let's say we want to move this out. And then you want born to be up here more. And let's see. I want sparkle to be down. And I'm going to move these out a little bit more. Um, 
So this is a way you can make designs bigger if you need to and you can space them out to um, where you want to and um, if let's say I wanted to make more sparkles um, you go up into this little thing it'll say copy so if you hit that it's going to copy whatever you highlighted so it copied that so once it's copied this one will paste so I've got two of them now so let's say if I wanted to add more sparkles um, you can do it like that you can pull them wherever you want or if you wanted to too you could just click on the one if you hear journey in the background I don't know what she wants um, you can do that and then you can go into edit split pattern and you can delete Let's say I want to get rid of this one and I just wanted these two. But I'll say if it just wanted that one and like an extra sparkle, I could get rid of that and close. And yes, so I have an extra sparkle and I can move it to wherever I want to. So, and then if I just wanted to add an extra sparkle all over the place, I could go up here and go to copy that and paste and then you got your extra sparkle and you can just keep doing that over and over until you get the amount of sparkles that you want <laughs> so oops so that's just something else that you can do with a solo pro um, again it's not sponsored anyway shape or form I just use it like all the time you can make your signs bigger you can alter them um, Anyway, I hope you like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I mainly do daily vlogs, which is basically I share my life in me, you know, my embroidery business and working on stuff and all that, all that fun stuff. So thanks so much for watching, guys.